And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some River Shen, our next Riven deck. I was really impressed with Riven whenever we played uh, Riven a little bit ago with Victor. We're going to now try playing the new Noxus Champion that's forging the Blade of the Exile. We're going to try that out with Shen. Shen's um, one of the best champions. This is a just a great champion that's pretty underrated. We see it uh, basically see this mostly in the Fiora Shen deck, but it's a champion that I've always had a lot of success with, with different decks. And I'm going to try it with um, a bunch of the new Noxus cards with Challenger. You have like cards like Brutal Hunter that can have Quick Attack and Challenger, um, your Wraithful Rider with Challenger. So trying out some of these new Challengers to go along with the ability to support the Challengers with Barrier. We also have the support with the Legion Drummer to give, the chal give those Challengers Quick Attack. Um, and then, you know, we're going to have a bunch of these uh, blades to forge and everything like that. So, yeah, trying try out some uh, some new stuff here with this deck. All right, so this is going to be Riven Shen. We're going to go play five games over in ranked. You know, we're back to platinum ranked with the rankings just re being reset today with the new expansion coming out. Each time an expansion comes out, um, which is like every two months, that's whenever the rankings do reset. All right, let's see how we do against some Ephemerals. So we got to watch for Deathmark. Don't have great answers to Deathmark. I do have one, or I do have two denies. And at the deck. Spirit's Refuge actually probably will be very important. Um, as far as like a, you know, this is usually a race, right? Ionia, Shadow Isle, Zed Hecarim, they're just trying to race you. And so Spirit's Refuge, um, they probably won't have like a removal spell to stop it. But it'll help you win a race. What do you call that technique? The pesky specter. Okay, we got a couple pesky specters in our deck now. I'll take another Green Glade duo. I'll take that. Hang on, Buzzball. Hey. Now the another pesky specter. I think I'll save the I'm just going to block here. I'm going to save the Spirit's Refuge. Could use it, but let's save it for having, like, Wraithful Rider or, you know, something else a little bit bigger. But it, it would have turned both of these things into being uh, three twos. We three will have blood. Suffer. No escape. Can we get rid of that? Who goes there? This is difficult of which one to challenge. Try to run. I'll go with the duo. Which of course means that we can't attack with our 1-1s. One take form. That looks like a death mark to me. That's too bad. So I kept deny was for death mark. That's too bad. So Shadow Seer does not create an exact copy of me. It will still create ephemeral copies. Shadows gather. You're left unguarded. A shadow of my path. None stronger, none more feared. So let's see, I'm going to be doing the Spirit's Refuge or the Barrier. That would kill the shadow, Silent Shadows here. I kind of need to kill this thing too. The, the problem here is, you know, I won't have Deny available. But I kind of need to be able to kill both of those things. The shadows take form. Strike hard. You're mine. Face me. Gain two less life, but I keep Glory Seeker around. 
They have another death mark. I'm in some trouble. Which it definitely feels like they have another death mark. Man, I kept this deny for one card in their deck and just haven't been able to use it. Join the hunters, they say. All right, well, it looks like they got this game. Come, the journey ahead is long. Victory requires a sharp blade. Night falls, shadows gather. I do want them to draw a pesky specter, right? Like, that's not a very good card. I would like them to draw that card. I've got the rings. This is not over. Overwhelm. Not like my chances. Probably should just mulligan to everything and just started with a brand new hand. This hand wasn't good enough. Okay, let's try again. Let's look for our champions. Our two champions are more powerful than the rest of our cards in our deck by a long way. So yeah, love having a Riven. Let's get rid of this. Um, Culling Strike good against like the ramp card. Um, Kato also pretty strong with that plus three and Overwhelm. But they have like Hush and Frostbite and that kind of stuff. Let's keep Culling Strike, keep Riven. There we go, this is good. Nice spacey sketcher to be able to block Glory Seeker. That's a nice spacey sketcher. Spilled paint is just accidental art. Like this. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm thinking I Oh, now I have this card. So I kinda think I just keep the Coaling Strike man available and then just go Riven into Shen with Coaling Strike for a ramp card. Oh, wait, wait, what am I doing? I could have just Glory Seeker and killed that. I was just so focused on that. What was I doing? I could just Glory Seeker challenged. What was I doing? When will I find peace? Yeah, you, you should always discard a really soul with this deck, like turn one like that. That's a really good discard. You're not, not going to have that for a long time, and... Um, yeah, I'm sure they're playing, you know, three Trindamir, three Aurelian Soul. Like, that's that's definitely something that, um, like, that's a good discard. The Eye of Twilight sees all. Well, that was a really dumb calling strike. <laughs> Enforced equilibrium. Alright, I'm gonna have them waste all that mana. Not gonna let them just play like a hush. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. I'm just really tempted to make them waste mana again. We march as one, an unstoppable force. Basically like thinking of like with Avalanche. But, you know, Avalanche does kill two of their things. Hmm. Interesting. We could do quick attack plus two overwhelm. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five. That'd be, you know, I could spend five mana, level up the Riven. No turning back now. There's still much to answer for. Hold still. 
I'm gonna hold up this deny. I kind of expect it to be double avalanche. And so that'll at least stop the first one. Because, like, that, that that avalanche doesn't really do very much, but I'm expecting it to be two avalanches. I guess the real problem is that they have a third avalanche, right? Yeah, a third avalanche would be pretty messy. Great draw. Stand United, really good card. Deal two to all others. So that's an avalanche that's also an 8-8. So I could stand united, keep two things alive, or I could just replay a new Riven and a new Shen. This card's really strong. Hit that stairs. That card's really strong. The King okay, I'll... They are I'll go with this so that then we can play another unit this turn. I don't really know why they didn't, didn't attack. So I go. Okay. So I've already done the plus two plus zero. He had a blade of the exile though. Yeah, I should have played this two plus two plus one plus two plus zero also. Before. I'm surprised that worked. I'm surprised that worked. I like some of the new emotes. I think some of the new emotes are pretty good. All right, so we're playing against Gohard. So against Go Gohard, the one health units are not spectacular. Uh, Legion Drummer is okay, but um, you know it's not really a champion. It's not really something that uh, makes a huge difference in the game with them having so many good blockers and everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and mulligan. Join the hunters, this. I'll show the hunters. Come closer. I don't bite. Cool, no go hard. That's not something I was expecting. No go hard. If I kill you, I don't fortune, stupid. Keeping Culling Strike mana available for the Elise. For I talk, for gold I I am one with the land. There's the go hard. You knew it was coming, only a matter of time. I'm gonna keep three mana for the other uh, calling strike available. Down to sixteen. Kato. Kato's cool. And grab the writer though. The 
weapon belongs to me. Strike hard. I honestly don't know anything about Duel Links. I can only say that I I uh, very highly recommend Legends of Runeterra. But to be honest, I do not know anything about Duel Links. What time is it? This is not good for me. It's the third go hard already. Really bad. My reputation. These woods protect their own. Stow the Russians, check on the princess. It is not easy to defeat this deck Victory that we are playing against. Blade. They do a great job at. Uh, just kind of killing everything. We march as one, an unstoppable force. Wow. That was really, yeah, that, that's great. You know, that's just their last two draw steps because they, they didn't have any in their opening hand. They played the, sp you know, they they drew into one, then they played a spray fin for the other, and the last two draw steps were just draw, go hard, go hard. I could have kept one thing alive with the barrier, but I mean, I'm 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 dead. I really appreciate that, Atlao. Yeah, go hard's pretty rough. Pretty rough. Um, this looks like a good hand. Let me keep this. I I I currently think that the the, the way to fix go hard is to you can keep it one mana which it really should be two because all the other things are two but fine you want to keep it one mana deals one damage that's okay you can do that but then the pack your bags should cost five mana it should be five mana deal five to everything which is still ridiculously incredible it's still that's still amazing but you can't just go draw a pack your bags with zap spray fin can see the Nebastian border from here the world awaits. And you know, like you're you're actually kind of paying a, a little bit of mana instead of one one spell mana is completely. Is that all you got? Uh, I guess I. Yeah, yeah, I want to block here because I don't want, I don't want their two one to block my Legion drummer. It's just negligible. Uh, negligible. It's just really nothing. You know, like one one spell mana. You know, like these things cost one spell mana. Like it just doesn't. One spell mana doesn't really matter. For a cost, like it's, it's, you know, it's basically zero. The trap is set. These woods protect their own. Mm. I probably shouldn't play the Green Glade Caretaker here. Patience. This is just kind of awkward of like having the attack token on turn. On this turn, this is pretty awkward. As far as like brutal hunter goes and everything. To serve the greater good. You really want it on turn four. None stronger, none more feared. Joke debate. Yeah, I got enough of those. Heads will roll. Tear them apart. Try to run. Oh no 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 no! I'm going to challenge. What am I doing? Okay, they still blocked anyway. Huh. I guess they just want to save seven life. Hey, <laughs> yeah, this thing getting brittle sealed. The winter's claw That's pretty rough. And I, I didn't want to transfusion and, you know, transfusion and save one of the other things, and then they use, like, a Whirling Death and kill my 7-3. It is me! 
didn't want to do that. The Winter's Claw. I apologize to your parents. I want to save Whirling Death for whenever we're attacking. I'll give more Overwhelm. And I guess I should be blocking their Overwhelm. I was I was thinking I was going to be doing this and then uh, you know Whirling Death the five five, but decided against it. And kind of good thing with the troll chance. Enraged Yetis. Strike hard. Oh, you already have quick attack. Wait. There we go. You are my prey. Its power courses through me. Certainly hope no frostbite spells. Alright, so if I let damage happen, so just go to 11. Or a whirling death. And take out like the ancient yeti. So they go down to 6 and I keep my 7-3 alive. So Jamani Trindamir. This Trindamir is going to just kind of kill me. Sejuani also. Kind of think of like, if, can I use my Whirling Death like on defense against those champions? And not the answer is not really. So I guess this is as good a time as any to get a Whirling Death in, try to keep the 7-3, be able to give it Overwhelm again the next turn with the Kato. Make it, you know, 10 power Overwhelm next turn where it gets to challenge something small like this Ruthless Raider. But I'll be surprised if we get another turn. Exactly, though. Poor fool. Well, the only block I can make to try to stay alive. I just feel like I've played these games just really bad. All of these games. I don't, I don't really know. I don't... Like, I feel like I've sequenced these really poorly. Like, I think just, like, with that game, turn three, playing my one-mana one-two. That, that's, like, what was the big mistake that I made that game. Cool. Victor Zoe. That's going to be our next deck, Victor Zoe. Yeah, I don't know if it's, like, because it's later or something, but I don't know what, but I just haven't... I feel like I haven't been focusing on these games well enough. I love that we have the attack token on turn four for the Brutal Hunters. But, you know, this is kind of awkward, like having Brutal Hunter, Brutal Hunter, Shen, all of those on uh, for, for on turn four. I'm going to mulligan these. So I want to keep Glory Seeker Shen. Um, I think both of our champions with Riven and Shen are really, really powerful, and I want to have them more than what we have had. Hey, what's up, Boot? You know, because like we've we've played like a turn four Shen, I think one game, and turn three Riven, maybe one game. So we really haven't had our champions. <clears throat> How have you been, Boo? Let's see. Let's go with this Rune Weaver. Overwhelm's cool. Next turn, Glory Seeker. Turn after that Shen. Broke my hand. So I got a new one. Been busy at work. Yeah, I understand that life. There you go. Awesome. Great. Glad to hear. No, I don't. I don't. No, I wouldn't want to play Shunpo. I, whenever I have played Shunpo, it hasn't hasn't worked out too well. I don't. I don't think it's. I don't think it'd be good enough. Um. 
the whirling death could be you know like your your twin disciplines or like there's there's like some other like little removal spells you could play or or combat tricks or you know things like that that you could play but i think like one whirling death is is just fine so considering going considering going um culling strike here on the mench of the stones to not allow them to Hmm, this is difficult. So Culling Strike would not allow them to, uh, you know, support. But then I'm not going with Challenger the next turn. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. Go, At least I'm not going with Challenger and Shen the next turn. Yeah, yeah, I guess I could have done that. Because I was thinking, like, even if I do that, they, they create the three gems. The gem would go on the armored gear head. There's a, there's maybe an argument to go like the cooling strike on the armored gear head. I was thinking and let them keep the mench of the stones because you know they don't get to support there. But like these gems with the gear head, that does sound really scary. Of course, we're gonna have like the barriers. Hush, is like their card. Right now. Okay, I don't really want pale cascade. Yeah, so like they have hush, like that's that's fine. Like we trade we trade these two and a hush, like that's good. But I wanted to challenge there because I didn't want pale cascade on that thing to kill my Shen. If I challenge the mention of the stones. Cool. Glad we saved the cooling strike for Zoe. And we're gonna have these real big challengers coming up. That card's awesome. Quick attack challenger. For next turn. No. There is no dispute. Alright. And that doesn't get rid of the spell shield now, because with Zoe being a 4-4. Just not a legal target anymore for for Culling Strike, so the Spell Shield still gets to stay on. Woe to those who disgrace the Empire. We just got a Hush out of their hand last turn. They're looking for the um, Equinox, probably. Hopefully no Equinox. We needed Equinox a couple of times when we played our Zoe deck, and we never got found it. Well, I guess they get to find theirs, though. Strike hard. I'm gonna hold on to the spell mana. Whoa, is that what I think it is? An okay, hopefully Zoe can't kill us. Overwhelm. That one's fine. The three are unrivaled. Ship time. I kind of forget this isn't, you know, just challenge. You know, Equinox isn't silence till in a turn. It's silence for good. Oh, boot, absolutely. I am down. You're here, still here. You just let me know. I'm down. Cool. Okay, so I think I... Hmm. That could be good. That could be good. Yeah, it's basically, you know, do we want to play any of these things before combat? Or do we want to just attack? Because I'm thinking I can I can maybe kill them, like give this thing overwhelm, use the stand united to switch spots. We three will have blood. Let's play this. Hmm. 
Means I'd have to use my Stand United now. We walk between realms. Groove Dealer with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, Groove Dealer. I appreciate that. That's our fourth sub of the day. Y'all are amazing. Thank you, everybody. Everybody get a whole bunch of hype in here. Happy holidays. Thank you, Groove Dealer. That is amazing. Thank you so much. Gifting out five subs to the channel. That is so wonderful. Thank you, thank you, Groove Dealer. We're putting we're putting lethal on them. I should still put lethal on them, right? For yeah, this is eleven damage. And there we go. They could have, so they could have blocked over here and stayed alive, but their victor would have died. And they didn't want that to happen. All right, two and three. So that was Riven Shen. I, I don't think that our deck was perfect, and and I don't know. It, I, I don't think I po I piloted it perfectly. I mean, this kind of deck, you probably got to play. Um, it pretty well. I also just don't think that we had like the best hands, you know, like we weren't really curving out, right? Like we never really got to go like Riven into Shen, you know, like we hardly ever had Riven. What is it? Just one game, I think, that we only drew Riven? I think just one game. And of course, with this kind of game, like your champions are going to be very important. And uh, finding those champions are, are going to be really important. Um, but you know, I wanted to try out some more stuff with Riven. Um, I'm not sure with with this deck going forward. I think, you know, we're going to keep on trying out a whole bunch of new stuff, but I think that once this kind of deck with, like, all the different spells you have, like, which spells do you want to play? Because Noxus and Ionia have just a, a very vast amount of um, situational spells for you to play. So finding which situational spells you want to have with uh, the deck um, is difficult to do on uh, on day one. That's for sure. We had a lot of Wrathful Riders. I only had two of them in the deck, but we had, you know, at least one or, or both of them every single game. Um, Brutal Hunter was okay. Uh, it did look pretty awkward, you know, when you don't have the attack token on turn four and it's your four drop. Um, you know, it does kind of look a little awkward there because then it's just the 3-3 three, three challenger. Um, but, uh, yeah, there we go. All right, so that's Riven Shen. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments. Uh, I would always appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.